Throughout the natural world, animals employ a variety of strategies, all of whose ultimate goal is the same, to provide the best possible chances for the survival of their offspring. Among these countless strategies, perhaps the one that we are most familiar with is parental care. And while the poster children for parental care tend to be mammals or birds, this behavior is not exclusive to warm-blooded creatures, nor is it tethered to terrestrial environments. Today, we follow a pair of Salvini cichlids, Trichromis salvini, a freshwater cichlid from Central America. We document the pair as they work along their quest to rear a brood of young Salvini cichlids in a 6-foot, 125-gallon freshwater system. Among the biggest threats to their young are a large male pearl scale cichlid, as well as a pair of pink convict cichlids looking to rear a brood of their own. The fry shown here are two days past the month since their first day free swimming. This was after an incubation period of five days. But even before this, there was courtship. Courtship in Salvini cichlids, as in most New World cichlids, consists of what can be best described as dancing. Here, we see the male fully extend his fins as he displays laterally in front of the female, similarly to how a male peacock displays before females. While in the wild, this might be met with challenges by other males, in this aquarium, this male is king. Over several days, he continues to display toward the female as she inspects the potential spawning sites in his territory, which reaches across two-thirds of the aquarium's length. Though he's established it on his own, once the pair bond is formed, she will aid in its defense against potential predators, including the pair of convicts and the pearl scale cichlid. Once she's chosen a cave, the pair begin to prepare it. To do this, the pair take turns removing substrate from the cave. The female will also excavate pits in other locations throughout the territory to move the fry into once they've hatched. The pair will also peg at the walls of the cave where they plan to lay the eggs, perhaps in an effort to clean them of potential pathogens. This process can last many days and is continued until both fish feel they are ready to mate. Here we see the female convict shimmy in her chosen cave at the far end of the aquarium, just beyond the furthest reaches of the Salvini territory. This indicates both an immediate desire to spawn and the location in which she plans to do it. When this behavior is observed alongside surface cleaning, the observer knows that a spawn is imminent. While we were unfortunately unable to capture the Salvini spawning process on film, it likely took place in the late afternoon or early evening and resulted in around 200 eggs. Here we see a pair of German blue rams, a South American cichlid, spawn on a much more easily filmed surface. Watch how carefully the female will lay down a line of eggs, after which the male ritualistically passes over them, fertilizing them as he does. Following the spawn, the female Salvini watches carefully over the eggs until they hatch, finding fresh water over them and picking away dead or unfertilized eggs. Over the next few days, she will rarely leave the cave, only occasionally darting out to feed before returning to tend her developing brood. Once hatched, the fry enter a regular stage, during which they feed exclusively on what remains of their yolks and are unable to swim. During this period, which lasts a few days, the female will move the fry in her mouth between the pits she will have dug prior to spawning. Watch how the fry wriggle their tails, readying their muscles for their first swim, which is rapidly approaching. During this period, the fry are most responsive to their parents' danger warnings. While in birds or mammals, this warning might be auditory. In Salvini cichlids, the parents communicate with their fry via rapid fin movements, in response to which the fry drop to the substrate, where they remain motionless until the danger has passed. In this clip, the fry are older, nearly a month old, and so are not as responsive to their parents' warnings. This trend will continue over time, with the fry becoming more and more outgoing and less tethered to the protection of their parents until, finally, they venture out on their own rendering their parents' quest complete. Until then, the pair must continue to defend their ever-growing territory, which now extends into wherever the fry happen to be at any given moment, pushing their potential predators to the furthest corners of the aquarium. Even as they do, one can see their pair bond begin to dissolve. 
at just over one month old. In the wild, these fry would be nearing the point at which they abandoned their parents, leaving them to either begin a new brood with one another or find new mates elsewhere. In the aquarium, however, the parents find themselves confined to a single territory. As tension builds between them, this can result in quarrels within the pair and the eventual dissolution of the pair bond entirely. While this may seem bad on the surface, in truth, it indicates only the end of one era and the beginning of another. Perhaps with the pair dissolved, the pearl scale cichlid can establish a territory of his own. Perhaps he can find a mate. And maybe, just maybe, the convicts can finally embark on a quest of their own.